Hello everyone, of Baba the Profitable Investor here. Good morning and welcome to a new day. This video is an attempt to answer questions that are disturbing our minds as to the strategy. So I'd like to cover a few things and I hope you would find this very, very useful in your trading. I want to cover time frame analysis. Then I'll quickly look into how to help us with the major strategy and then probably we could consider how to draw trend line support and resistant levels and how to synergize all this information together use candlesticks candlestick patterns to enter and place a trade and also how to exit whenever the market is indicating whether we are wrong or how to retain or remain in the market when we are right. Now, I want to give a recap as regards the function of certain things. Now, if you check your right hand side of this chart, the right hand side, this area tells about the price level, the base tells about the date and the chart itself tells you what is really happening in the market now currently we are on the daily time frame that is what has been happening today for example today is august 4 4th of august 2020 and i'm recording this video at 4 24 a.m Ideally, the daily can do start at 1 a.m. I say it again. The day's candle started around 1 a.m. Nigerian time. So when we check the daily, the daily is a summation of what has been happening within the past one two three four so within the past three hours 25 minutes that is that so before you even start your analysis you must ask certain questions where are we relative to the day on the daily time frame which represent the summation of 24 hours whenever you want to start an analysis what is the current time how much time have you spent in the day how much time is left in the day is it a fresh day what has been happening these are fundamental questions you need to ask yourself and know before you even place a trade for example on the daily time frame it is clear crystal clear that price has generally been selling it has been a bearish market now that is on the daily but this daily based on this current recording is not the exact or does not give the exact representation of what has been happening today why because the day is just three hours 26 minutes so if i really want to start my analysis based on today will i consider the daily yes but no why because the daily we have just spent three hours 24 26 27 minutes right now so if i want to start where will i start my analysis i will start from a can do that is most similar or that is closer to my analysis to my time frame for example we have spent three hours 27 minutes it means we are almost spending the first four we have almost spent the first four hours today if you check on the four hours candle so let's check on the four hours candle good so it suggests to us that today we have 
paint this candle this current red candle look at it closely so it suggests to us that within the span of four hours this activity has happened now what has happened this activity tells us that it is number one generally a bearish candle that's number one if you use your candlestick analysis how do we know it is a bearish candle price started and currently is it has closed at a point but it is still moving so we can't really say it has closed until a new candle forms now this is it look at this closely guys where did price start on this candle for a bearish candle you always know that price starts from the open which is the reverse or the opposite in a bullish candle that's number one so where did price started from price started at this level yes when price started at this level what happened price moved up to this level to this eye when it got to this level what happened bullish market makers the buyers could not sustain that pressure and the sellers took over and they took over and they got to a whole time low of this current of this level all of a sudden the buyers reminded the sellers that they are in charge and they are currently pushing the price upward currently is at this level do you understand okay so right now this is the summation of what has been happening today because today we have only spent three hours 30 minutes that is number one number two every four hour can do in a day a day is made up of 24 hours so we will need to see six of this candle today to ensure or give us a total summation of what is happening today that means if you check your chart and by 12 59 pm today you will see six candles whether red or green or a combination of them so if you see them start forming or they would have formed some of them will have formed this level some on this new level some on this new level you know and like that six candles depending on whether it is generally bullish or bearish all right that number one another thing is this now let's check the one hour candle now the one hour candle tells you what has been happening during that day on a one hour time basis so you break 24 hours in a day so after the whole day that is at 12 59 pm or 1 am you should have seen 24 of these candles like i said the other time this is 4 pm nigerian time and that means we have spent only three hours 32 minutes according to volatility index according to uh, every analysis you want to do today using what i'm teaching so it means we have spent three hours 32 minutes now what does it mean it means that the last one hour one two three and a portion of this candle do you understand how do you want how do you know or how do i know this i can just use certain tools on mt5 to pinpoint where the candle started 
from the one hour and where it is currently. So let's just do a small thing. Just place it anywhere. Now just select it and select this pencil. Now look at this closely. 20080430. Now August 2020. So let's put it to 1 a.m. Okay. Let's put it to done. Can you see now? So it will automatically go to that candle. Now let's so that means that today. So we have spent one, two, three, three hours plus. All right. So what does this tell you? If you are just coming to the market to trade, before you do all this trading, before you take your strategy and, and confirm strategy, you need to do this first to know what is happening. And how do you confirm that? Watch this, guys. Let me just delete this. So it means that on this candle, market, market opened with this candle. And it simply meant that, like I explained the other time, market started at this level with a bearish candle. It started at this level, then buyers were in control. It came to this level, then it couldn't support this eye, then sellers gained momentum, and they brought it down to this low close. They brought it down to this low, and all of a sudden, the buyers came up and push the price to this level and closed that alone has given you a comprehensive understanding all right so that you see it's a bearish candle market has been selling good come to the four hours why do you have to come to the four hours because today we have only spent three hours 36 minutes so which candle is closest to the time spent, the four-hour candle, simple. Unlike the day, the day is a is a wider picture of what has been happening from one a.m. So you look at this closely. Now let's go to the strategy. But before we go to the strategy, let's understand the moving averages and what it represents. Again. So the first moving average we have is the green moving average. Now, the green moving hybrid tells us the most recent trend within the past one hour. All right. Now, when that can when that moving average is generally trending up or pointing up or moving up relative to the previous hours, it is called a buy trend. And when it is generally trending down, it's called a sell trend. So let's look for the the um, the green moving average. You can just zoom. Now look at it closely, guys. Now, if you use this, if you just take this as a sample to analyze, you will be wrong. Because if you watch these levels closely, it has been trending up since when? 11th July. So it has been going up since 11th July and going up. So we have only spent 3 hours 37 minutes today. So this will not give you the best analysis. So what do you need to do? You need to zoom in. I mean, is this zoom in or zoom out now? Anyone? Zoom out. And if possible, you can use your tools to mark out when the day started today. And your current level and look at the relationship and the position of that green candle so let's do that now put your marker okay let me change this color let's use color black august 4 2020 one o'clock to okay good you see right now that is where it is now let's do another one um, okay august 4 2020 to 
what what time are we currently? Four thirty-eight a.m. So one, two, three, four, thirty-eight, 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 thirty-eight. We are down on thirty-eight. So four thirty-eight. Okay, we have four or five. That is um okay. Yeah, four thirty-eight, four thirty-eight. Let's see. Click on done. Good. So we have two candles, but you are not seeing them. So you have to zoom. So let's let's check the four hours. Can you see them now? But we want to see them more clearly. So because we want to know, listen closely, guys. We are interested in understanding the most recent trend within the past one hour so when you are checking for one hour are you going to be checking four hours time frame no you go and look for one hour so look at it closely now i told you that the trending position of the green moving heavy tells you what has been happening within the past last one hour now look at it closely guys so within the last one hour the green moving average from the point of 557596.63 five, five, is trend up to 558092.62 so that's been trending up now in this situation the reason why we have been able to know this is because in a situation whereby you started your analysis around 1 a.m you wouldn't have noticed this so how would you know the trending direction of this green moving average you will need to check a more recent a, a, a lower time frame to know what is the position and the direction so in checking that you can check something like the five minutes or the 15 minutes why we want to know the direction of the green moving average and so that we can be able to enter early before the trend begins to move in a direction whereby if we don't enter early the train will have left us so what do you do you can come to the five minutes and do your analysis we are looking for the direction of the green moving average so let's begin to search for it can you see closely now so Although, oh, okay. So although the the four the one hour tells us has been trending up, but the real the reality of it is that it has been going down. Why? Look at it closely, guys. Look at it. Look at the green. Look at zero zero four five. That's about um almost. Okay, let me just zoom it very well. Okay, so it started today. This is the daily candle. This is zero 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 zero. If you check this, this is zero 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 zero. That's one a.m. or twelve a.m. on their own time. So look at this closely, guys. It has been coming down. But if we were doing this analysis around twelve a.m., would we check the five minutes? No. You would check the one minute because you don't want to know what is happening right now. So in that case. You will have checked the one minute because this five minutes time frame gives you a summation of what has been happening and the positioning but we are interested in early early entries so that we can ride the trend early hand you know maybe to maximize profit so in this kind of situation although we are interested in knowing the main trend so how do you know the main trend? you can check the one minute now the one minute how did the price started look at this closely guys can you see that on the one minute before then, price, uh, the 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 green moving average, was, was kind of uh, was 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 a was a little bit ranging in a way, no clear cut direction. So it means that let's imagine that, this was one a.m. Okay. Now, if this was one a.m this is the only portion of the candle that will have been revealed to us because other portions are not yet formed so from this already 
which direction is it is it going to it is trending down look at it now it went up look at it closely it went up it's getting trying to cover and it's plateauing so that should tell you that it is trending down do you understand i trust you understand so it is trending down look at it look at it look at it so you can see it is trending down this means if right now was 1 a.m this is what you will have seen so you don't need so so this is one of the best ways to quickly know what is happening and be able to maximize it so that you don't enter at the middle point of the market or at the late phase of the market now the second thing is this the red moving average tells you the main trend within the past six hours so you can see closely that has been trending up but is about to begin to come down do you understand now when it is generally trending up you will consider it to be on a buy trend and when generally trending down you consider it to be on a sell trend now because this candle represents six hours generally speaking the, the main trend which is the red moving average will you go and check the six hours whereas you are analyzing for today no you will check something like the one minute and the five minutes to know where it is trending to so on the one minute let's imagine we are around 1 a.m you have noticed a pattern that this thing is coming down it went up and it began to regress so in your mind the trend is becoming a selling trend so what are you looking for sell market the current trend look at this closely the current trend is a sell why generally speaking is coming down coming up down the main trend is selling coming down so in your mind you're in your mind you're looking for sell now the blue moving average now the blue moving average tells you when to get out of the market okay and you are able to know when when the blue moving average cut cross the 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 yellow moving average whether in the upward direction or downward direction for example look at what happened yesterday night around 11 14 the momentum was going up and all of a sudden it caught it here when he caught it as a confirmation that the a sell is about to commence short term sell whether short term or long term sell now that is just it the pink moving average tells you a confirmation of when to totally exit market because when generally speaking the yellow moving average is what is happening in the market currently and the direction so the yellow the, the blue moving average tells you what price is trying to do so when the yellow moving average has started pointing down as a confirmation one of the current strength the second thing is the blue moving average is also pointing down and has crossed it and it's coming down ah that's a double confirmation the third one is the pink moving average when it has crossed the three it is an indication that you need to get out of the market if you were already buying do you understand so that is it so i've said that one green moving average tells us the most recent trend within the past one hour when it is clearly pointing up it, is, it means it's buy buy trend and over and when it's pointing down it is a sell trade the red moving average tells us the main trend within the last six hours when it is pointing up it's a buy trend and when it is clearly pointing down it's a sell trend the blue moving average tells us when to exist from the market okay that is when when it has crossed the yellow tells you to get ready to exit and the pink moving average when the same has happened is a confirmation that you must get out or is a confirmation that when you need to come in again so this is how it works now let's go to the strategy exactly the strategy says let me try to delete this 
okay now we start our analysis on the daily but i like i told you today we have spent only oh, three hours 48 minutes so where will you start your analysis from is it the daily or the four hours yes you consider the daily but you pay more attention to the four hours because you have only spent less than four hours or five hours today so you click on four hours now checklist one what is happening price has been selling okay now where is the moving average the yellow moving average yellow moving average at this level where is price price around this level it says that whenever price is above the yellow moving average you look for buy entries whenever price is below yellow move at yellow moving average you look for sell entries all right so in this kind of situation what has been happening you will see that the yellow moving average has curved downward which confirms the sell but like i said the other time if you have if you want to have if if if, if this was 1 a.m and you want to enter early enough would you be considering this momentum on the four hours exclusively not really you will consider it on a lower time frame because if you have if you just consider it on a higher time frame exclusively you will have been deceived you will have to wait for price to come down and start entering and that could have been too late so in this kind of situation because you have spent only few hours you can just check it on the let's say five minutes or 15 minutes to know what is really happening so imagine this was one am click on the five minutes or the 15 minutes now let's mark out one am so that you would now this is I'm looking for 12 a.m. Okay, good. Now this is it. Let's just use a marker. Let's use this. Okay, this this portion is fine. Now where is the red moving average? We are considering and we are imagining that this is 1 a.m. that you want to take your trade. So let's zoom. Look at this closely. Forget about the other half. I'm talking about forget about this half. Because this has not yet happened. Okay. Now, what is the direction of price? You will see that this red moving average is, is trending upward. So that means that around 1 a.m., you will only have access to see this as this. Do you understand? Okay, so generally speaking price is trending up now when it's trending up what do you look for you look for buy entries now when it's trending down you look for sell entries okay the green moving average so where is it it is trending up but i told you that the green moving hybrid is the most recent trend what price is doing right now so while the main trend is still up the most recent trend is trying to come down so which one would you follow is it the red or the green definitely you follow the green why because that is what is happening it will take a while for the red to change its direction and position okay so when you notice that the next thing you do is to go to the one minute to do analysis now on the one minute Let's imagine this was 1 a.m. On the 1 minute, just click on 1 m. Where did we mark the other time? Which portion did we mark? Okay, good. Now, on the 1 minute, if this was to be 1 a.m., on the 1 minute, look at this level. Look at this, guys. Can you see that price has crossed the the yellow moving average has started coming down and it has crossed the blue and it has caught and crossed the pink 
which is a confirmation for itself. And if this was one one uh, uh, around one AM or thereabouts, you can see that the brain moving average is trending down. I can see that although it's trending down, the red moving average is still pointing up. But it take a while to also come down. So what do you look for? Sell entries. So now, when you notice this, you notice that number one, it has crossed, caught all these three. That is, the yellow moving, the red, the blue moving average, which was forming parallel lines upward from this region, which was still buying, has now changed direction and is coming down. As is sell confirmation one. Sell confirmation two is the yellow, no, the, the blue moving average has crossed again. The pink, which is, which the pink always form later. That's confirmation two. And you see, if this was 1 a.m., you will see that it is coming down. And all of a sudden, it came down to this level. It has crossed, caught the green moving average. You can just wait a bit. Look at this now. When it happened like that, you may not just take a trade. You just wait. Just wait. Just wait. You wait for another cutting process. Now, in this situation, if you wait for a while, you notice that it's a little bit ranging. It's a little bit ranging at this level. So you wait for a clear entry, a clear signal before you enter. Although market is trending down, but you are still waiting. Now, if you are using a good risk to reward ratio, you are safe. So let's imagine that you entered. Let's imagine that you entered when this happened. Okay, so let's mark that point. Sorry. Let's mark this point. Let's imagine you entered around this level. Okay. Let me use something. Let me use back. Okay. So that is 575,000. I'm using 5,000 point as an hypothetical figure. Right? Five. Seventy-five zero zero zero. So it means that even if it reverses, look at this level. Look at this closely, guys. This was the point where market was still ranging. Although when it when the confirmation said enter, it said entered around this level. Let me zoom. It said enter around this level. That was when the buy was con the sell was confirmed. And if you entered around this level. When you saw it clearly and you put it five times. if the market reversed and it went in that direction upward you'll be stocked out with five um, five thousand points negative that that could be five dollars for 0 0.001 or for 0 0.002 ten dollars and all of that now don't be don't, don't be afraid to lose money okay now look at that we entered and that's the that, that that's uh, the the um what's it called now? So we entered at that level. Now market was ranging and ranging and ranging. All of a sudden, around let's say you know you know currently, I am assuming that this is one a.m. So as price begins to go, around one thirteen a.m. or thereabout, you can see that it has been selling. Double confirmation. Now I said it. You could have waited for it to get to this level. Before you sell, because this is strong confirmation, because it tells us that when the green, the most recent trend, which is the green, has cut cross downward, the main trend, it tells you that the main, the the most recent trend is in vogue. So when this, what do you do? You enter a sell, but you would not have seen it at this level. Price would have gone further than you. So what do you do? If it was at this level, you could speculate that okay from what i'm seeing your price should from from this level let's say this was one thousand a.m you could speculate that our price could go downward from what you are seeing 
Because if this was 113 a.m., all right, you would only have access to see this current level. So from what you are seeing right now, this is going down. So you would have entered. Okay. So let's say you enter at this level. Now, when that happened, you see that price was just falling, just going down in the direction of your analysis. This is how to win. Now, when that happened, it is selling. You are in profit. You can have a one to ratio three reward system, risk reward. That means you place where you entered, you are willing to lose five dollars, and you are willing to make ten dollars. I mean fifteen dollars. So you calculate five seven zero eight seven three plus fifteen thousand points. That's going to be your take profit level. If you are risking one to ratio three using five dollars as your risk, if you are using um three dollars as your risk, you are going to put it to a nine thousand point, which is one ratio three. Okay, good. And all of a sudden, you see that price has been going in your direction. So if that happened, price came all the way low and hit these levels. Now, this may not be 15,000 points. So that means that price will have hit, would not hit your take profit before going back. So you can just put, you can just use 10,000 points. So in this kind of situation, if you are monitoring your trade, what would you have done? Now, price is currently coming down. Like I said, you will use your one minute to enter and to exit. So one minute time frame. Now, okay. So you have entered and the price is just trending down. Now, how do you now exit this market when it starts changing the direction? You will exit when price crosses the blue, or let me say, when the blue line um, caught the yellow moving average in the opposite direction, that is in the buy direction in this case, and then you will now close your trade when the same happens to the pink so in this case this is around one say one one around two a.m really two a.m thereabouts you have been in profits enjoying the profits and all of that and you are just monitoring your trade and look at these levels you are monitoring your trade you are monitoring your trade you are monitoring your trade up to two o'clock monitoring your trade you can see, see you are enjoying the ride you are enjoying the, all of a sudden look at this level price came to this low and then watch this guys watch this closely either this level or this level let me zoom when price begin to come it came here and then it crossed here you could have exited at this level because that would be visible for it to you or you could have waited for it to come down low again so imagine you exited around this level. Let me use. Yes, so you exited around this level. When it has crossed it, you know, the first crossing that happened. Look at the first crossing that happened. First major crossing. It crossed it up. Then it was not sustained. It came down. Now, I, I told you the trailer principle. When price is about to reverse, let's say it has been buying. It will go up, then it will come down a bit. It will go up, then it will come down a bit. It will go up and come down a bit. It will go up, come down a bit. And all of a sudden, shoot down. And the reverse happens for a sell. It will go down, come up a bit, go down, come up a bit, go down, come up a bit. All of a sudden, boom. Do you understand? Now, so in this kind of situation, where we have exited? Will have exited around this level double confirmation any of this level if you had exited let's zoom it on okay good you see right now can you see let me let me let me use marker this is the co is like a confluence point this is where you have exited do you understand right now so it means that at this point market is reversing so how much would that made 
calculate the difference between here and here that's your that's your monetary value so if you use 15,000 points you don't need to make it its take profit level before you close because market has changed and for you to determine whether you want to make 15,000 points or 20,000 points or 10,000 points is depending on many factors one of them is what is the general trend of the market the general trend of this market within the past two weeks three weeks it has been on a buy uptrend so in this case we are not looking for you to all of a sudden just sell like 25,000 points on like the buy that has been buying for like 25,000 points 30,000 points no do you understand so that's how we do it okay so you exit here so i want to calculate how many how much you will have made so in this kind of situation our original estimation was okay you want to make 15 dollars from this trade but because we are currently trading and we believe okay 15 dollars may not be reasonable before price begins to reverse we afford to close our trade because we are currently monitoring it so it means that in this trade you will have been monitoring your chart from around around let's say one okay when did you enter enter around this portion around one um this is um around 102 or 103 a.m and around these levels it should be two two let's say two twenty or thereabouts so one hour 30 minutes that's what, that's the amount of time you'll be using to monitor this trade in this kind of situation do you understand so let's calculate how much you'll have made using this principle it's going to be entry point is five seven zero eight now let's say let, let's let's take it from the close price five 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 eight eight nine minus five seven zero eight seven zero eight seven let's say five seventy thousand just approximately 570,000 minus 558,000. Wow. So 58 minus 17. So you would have made $12. Can you see right now? Can you see the beauty of this strategy? So I want you to watch this video a hundred times if possible so that you can understand and stop losing money. Okay. So we have been able to explain time from analysis very well and strategy checklist that's just about that those are the two things you have been able to do and also we have been able to understand the principle of the crosses of the yellow moving averages the blue moving average and the pink moving averages cheers and god bless you guys of the earlier recorded video okay now we start the analysis on the daily and you check what have been doing also you consider between the current analysis versus when price started so for example we are currently at 10 46 a.m nigerian time and price started market started at 1 a.m so it means that we have spent more than nine hours about almost 11 hours in a day okay so in that situation if you want to start your analysis for example if you want to go and trade right now are you going to consider daily yes are you going to consider four hours yes attention to at the moment you are going to pay more attention to something like the one hour time frame why are you doing that because you want to know what has been happening within the past one hour now by 11 o'clock a new candle will form so when a new candle forms by 11 o'clock you will now pay attention to the you will not pay attention much you will not pay much attention to the one hour because a new candle is just forming and it take a time for it to form a structure you will now pay attention 
to the 5 minutes or the 15 minutes to see what has been happening. I you also pay attention to the 1 minute and you do an analysis. You, you would enter the market on the 1 minute. Let me come again. For example, market is going to start by 11 o'clock. A new candle is going to start by 11 o'clock and no one to know what's happening. Normally, you pay attention. To, you should pay attention to one hour. Okay, good. But because it's just starting, and before that one hour forms fully, to take a while. So you pay attention to the lower time frame, let's say 15 minutes, or preferably five minutes. Now, for example, the five minutes shows you what price has been doing for every five minutes. For example, so, so right now, price has been buying on these five minutes, selling on this one, and all of that. Do you understand? So generally speaking, on the five minutes, you can see that it's actually on a range it's got actually arranging and all of that so in that sense you will now pay attention on the five minutes if you are going to trade by 11 o'clock you pay attention on the five minutes and wait for what happens currently price is ranging so you be careful now you go to the one minute also to look closely at where the moving averages are and then you would see if it is feasible or reasonable to enter currently price is ranging so you have to actually have to wait for the rain to um, come into conclusion before you now do your analysis. Do you understand? So this is how we do our analysis. You can see price has been raging for a while right now. Okay. Okay. You can see closely, even from the earlier video I did, uh, price went upward, it went up and coming down and opening around the yellow, the red moving average and the... Uh, green movement average and it has been ranging that is it has been within a consensus it has been ranging within a a, a period okay all right so that is what is happening so now let me just recap the reason why we quickly check on the 15 minutes on the five minutes and probably on the one minute is to see the formation of the movement so that while price is moving in a direction, we can actually predict the movement and enter early. That is the major reason why we have to consider the lower time frame. All right. So I think this helps very well. Cheers and God bless you guys.